Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you this little nifty program called World Painter where you can literally paint your worlds and import them to Minecraft. So when you first open the program you should be greeted with a screen like this. Um, it kind of reminds me of just Microsoft Paint. Um, you can have different uh, brush styles here with cracks, noises, uh, spikes, circular spikes, plateaus, constant circles. So if you don't want the already started out generated world and you want to start off with a flat one, you can go up to file, new world, and you can choose the dimensions. So that's in multiples of 128. You can have a circular world, choose the height uh, of what the blocks can go up to, Have it whether it's hilly or flat. And of course for this example I'm going to choose flat. Uh, the water level, if you want to start it in water, just water so you can level off the cliffs. You can do that, increase the water level. You can have beaches, uh, lava instead of water. And you can choose the surface material from all the blocks in the game. So once you've uh, chosen all your options you can click create and you'll be greeted with a flat new map. Now if we go over to here we have layers these will show you the different layers of which uh, Minecraft has so jungle we can uh, put a jungle around here in the middle so that's a jungle biome right there we can uh, put some jungle trees there caverns these are under the ground of course so this is what this purple thing indicates these are caverns uh, resources, so this is all your ores and uh, you know, coal, uh, diamonds, and all that stuff. So, if you just cover that hole in the map, the whole map in that, uh, populate again, that's pretty much the same. You can do this easier with uh, populate, so for the ores and trees and whatever. So, we'll cover that over there, and of course, we can make slants. And all kind of uh, mountains and stuff. So if we go over here to a uh, raise a mountain, so as you can see, you can see the mountains being raised there as I hold down my left mouse button. And say if I wanted to put some uh, snow on top of there, I couldn't do like so. So you can basically do what you want on your own little map. Um, there's been a lot of crazy creations made with this already. Uh, they've got a, a thread created for some of the maps which have been made so you can go and check them out maybe get some inspiration from them so to end this video I'm going to be showing you how to export it as a Minecraft map so you basically go up to here into file export and export as a Minecraft map you'll be greeted with this window now you can choose where to save it as so you, it's automatically into your uh, Minecraft saves folder or you can just put it on your desktop so you can upload it to a website or something you can also name your world so I'll just put tutorial and you've got a lot more options here underground material choose from a variety of rocks the border so this is the end of the map so you can choose whatever you want avoid no border I'll choose water and your border size Minecraft seed, that doesn't really matter because I have a flat world so it's not going to affect mine. Over here you can choose some of the options which are included in Minecraft itself, so I include a chest of goodies, uh, structures, that's the villagers, towns and stuff, and allow cheats and the mode, so I'm going to put mine in creative so we can fly around while I show you it. And of course you can choose the version of Minecraft in which uh, format it was, so in 1.2 they added the anvil map format or you can choose the Minecraft 1.1 or earlier. We've got a few more tabs over here and this is caverns. So if you want to tick this it'll create massive underground caverns which you can go and explore and this increases the rarity of them. Flood the ca caverns, you can also increase the level of water inside the caverns and of course resources so you can change all the different variables of what uh, ores spawn and uh, you know how much water there is, how many, how much it occurs and stuff like that. So once you've done that, you can click export, 
may take a while depending on how fast your computer is and once that's done you can go into minecraft and play your map okay so now we're inside minecraft and if you click on single player your world should be there see as i said i renamed mine tutorial so if we can go in and play the selected world i'll show you what we created so we're in survival mode and we're glitching out here right there we go so I'll just let it load up a second of course this is the new christmas chest which they added as a christmas surprise in a new update and this is the chest of goodies which you ticked in the options so there is the jungle biome which we placed in the program and if we dig straight down there should be quite a few caverns we can explore okay here's a quick example of some of the caverns which generate if you tick the options for caverns to be generated in your world as you can see they're quite large and expansive of course they also have the normal minecraft vanilla things which will uh, generate so these are the abandoned mine shafts and they'll carry on into other caverns which are pretty massive forgot to mention these are the mountains I also created in the program these little hills here with snow on top as you can see it worked and you can go and do the same so thanks guys thanks for watching if this helps you out please leave a like it helps me out a lot and uh, yeah the link will be in the description for the download and also the creation thread where you can get inspiration from so once again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.